So I finally finished Castlevania. I know, I know, I'm late, but I got to it. I finished the original series and I moved on to Nocturne. It's truly a fascinating show. I like how it tackles specific themes each season. The first being about the face of evil and what that actually looks like in the real world. One of the most powerful scenes in the entire series and probably the most important scene in the first season is the night creature confronting the Bishop of Grisha, telling him how grateful he is to him and how they're the same. The night creature sees the Bishop as a kindred spirit, a fellow night creature bringing terror and pain to everything around him. It's a horrifying yet eye-opening moment that shows that evil comes in different forms. The bishop is a harbinger of destruction and calamity, but he says it's in the name of God and sees himself as a righteous man, where the night creatures know what they are and what they're created for. In this final moment of his life, the bishop briefly sees that all his self-righteousness, all his condemnation, all his persecution, execution of others was all in vain. It's such a striking moment that shows how these old systems of control and power are run by old men who are rotting in their own corruption and evil, yet project this image of godliness and glory. They who speak the most of God and what God wants and what God told them to do and say and how his will is only spoken through them. When in reality, the most horrific actions we see on earth are not from the poor or the lost, but from them. The ones who preach commitment and exclusivity. Evil is not just a giant night creature of hell trying to bite your head off, but also a bishop telling you to call out your fellow man and find the sinners among you in order to divide you and control you more easily. The othering of certain groups of people is evil. Discrimination and persecution of those considered not like us is evil. The way the bishop turned all of the town's hardships and misfortunes on the speakers demonstrates this consolidation of wrongs, where everything bad happening to you is because of those people, the people who are not like you or stand out because of where they're from. It's a tactic as old as time, and I love how the show calls it out as another form of a weapon of hell. The first season, although only four episodes long, is able to encapsulate how evil can be found in some of the places we consider to be the most holy.